I'm going to show you how to use a gravity field to affect objects. First we'll make a plane, a polygon plane, and stretch it out. Get it to a reasonably large size. We'll just uh, give it some shading. Now we'll make a sphere. Now the idea is the sphere is going to bounce off of the plane. So I'll create a gravity field first and then connect it to the sphere. Next, I'll take the plane and convert it into a rigid object because, as you can see, the ball wasn't affected by it at all. The sphere just went right through it. So now we turn it into a passive object because it's not going to be affected by the gravity field. and the ball bounces off it. Now we'll change some properties on the ball. Make it a little bouncier. We'll make it a lot bouncier. Oh, still needs to have more bounce to be entertaining. We'll just shove it right up to two. Now it's actually bouncing more. There's more energy coming off of the ball than was initially <laughs> created by the original fall. And it's gone. Too bouncy. We'll take it down to twice root mean square. That should bring her in perspective. Now she's bouncing up and down quite a bit, but not out of control. This is where the fun start begins. Fun fun part begins. I'll just angle the plane a bit. And the ball will bounce its way off the plane. Now here's something cool. <laughs> Change over to faces and deform it a little bit. the ball hit the newly formed face because the connection was updated. I'll change it a little bit more. Looks like the ball found a nice flat spot again to bounce on even though the whole table is uh, tilted. And that was just a coincidence. I'll just tilt her a little bit more. And away she goes. Sometimes I just like to play for hours with this uh, bouncing ball and trying different shapes and objects for it to bounce off of. Increasing the bounce and how much spin there is initially and you can get some pretty strange results. I 
I've just duplicated the plane. So as to get try to get the ball to bounce off of the second plane after it's been on the first plane. When you duplicate a plane that's already uh, assigned to a field, it, that also gets duplicated. Oops, totally missed. Okay, we'll just change the properties a little bit. plane also can be uh, made more or less bouncy, thus changing the material attributes of it. I suppose uh, going from steel to rubber bounciness would uh, make the ball bounce even more. Let's try that again. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Prove me right. Well, it's not going to happily go off onto one of the other planes. Ah, there it goes. 